Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing long division single digit. Yee. Um, so we have a problem down here. Let me try to set my camera up a little bit. I hope you guys can see a bit better. It's kind of blurry, but let me try to this for you guys. Just trying to clear my camera up better. Yeah, I think you can see better now. So basically, how many times can you put 5 into 4? You can't. So you put a 0 up here. Right? How many times can you put 5 into 41? Let's see with our chart over here. Let's see, bring down, and then you find 40 over here. And the next number would be 45, and that would be too hard, and it's going over the, um, I lost my page. Um, it's going over 41. So the 40 right here, that's 8. So on top you put 8. And 5 times 8 equals 40. So in here you put a 40. Now 40 minus 41 leaves you with just 1. And then, okay, so, and then you bring this down. So 5 divided by two, 10 equals 2. So you put the 2 up there. 5 times 2 equals another 10. So the 10 right there. And then 10 minus 10 equals 0. And basically, yeah. So... Um, I'm going to try to slow it down for you. The first thing I did with the problem is I... Sorry if my handwriting is a bit bad. I divided. I divided the first number of the dividend with the divisor without going over. Then, step two. I multiplied. And I... So I multiplied and I wrote under the first digit in the dividend. Step three is to subtract. Step four is to bring down the next digit. Okay, so. Bring down, oops, kind of messed up. Um, bring down the next digit of the dividend. Step five is to repeat. Um, repeat until you have brought down each digit of the dividend. And that's how to long divide. I'm going to do another problem. Let's see. Let's do that all squares and boxes so it's a bit more clear. Um, three divided by three going into two, you can't do it. Put a zero on top. Three into 25. If we go to our chart right here, 24, you can't go over there because that'll be over 25. So six. So you write six right there. Three times six equals. Oh, it's all on top of my head. Oh, wait, I messed up. Um, so three. Three, three going down, high is 24, so that's 8, sorry guys, um, then 3 times 8, go down again, find it, right here, 3 going down is 24, I keep on messing up with the numbers, okay, so now after you do that, then um, that minus, bring the 5 down, make that into a 15. If my 5 is a bit messy, but it doesn't matter. And um, 3 going into 15 is 5. 5 are there. 3 times 5 equals 15. Let's write the 15 down here again. And subtract. And that's 0. And there's your answer 85. Let's do one more, and I think we'll be good. Let's go right here. So, eight, but, um, 584. Let's see, so eight going into five, you can't do that, so you put a zero. Eight going into 58. 
The highest you can get is 56, and that would be 7. 8 times 7 equals 56. Um, then after that, you subtract. And it gives you 2. Um, then you bring this down. Make that a 24. How many times you can put 8 into 24? You can put 3 times. 3 right there. 8 times 3 equals 24.